replay. Laura McManus, she's a 42-year-old mother of two girls. She's also a Cincinnati Bengals cheerleader. She's the oldest cheerleader in the NFL. New Life Productions is actually making a movie about her life. It's a story of love, inspiration, and an ongoing will to succeed. Uh, I was at a point in my life where I really wanted to do something special because I was going through a divorce and I didn't feel really good about myself. But even her very best friends could never imagine what would happen next for Laura McManus. You see, this 42-year-old Cincinnati suburban mom decided to turn back the clock and become a cheerleader. It would not be easy. It's funny because I am a mom and I work full-time. I, I live in a suburb, so I'm not your typical suburban person. It's a lot of work. Uh, it's hard juggling children and my job and the practices. But she never gave up. And although she didn't make it on her first try, instead of disappearing back into suburbia, this blonde haired blue eyed beauty with a charming smile and outgoing personality would soon earn her rightful place on the squad. That's kind of why I, I tried out really more of a personal sense of accomplishment, not just to say, oh, I'm a Bengal. It was more, I really wanted to um, start dancing again and challenge myself. It, I definitely feel a sense of personal accomplishment, absolutely. And others see it as well. The messages that were coming through were so inspirational, mostly from people my age in their 40s or older, but there were a lot of even young girls, and that's what reminded me of the girls I cheer with, who would say, wow, I never realized that I could achieve this, you just have to put your mind to it. Before long, Hollywood came a-calling, and the life of the oldest cheerleader in the NFL will hit the big screen. It is actually extremely surreal. I kind of have to pinch myself to see if it's really happening because I can't believe it. I could not be more excited. There isn't a single person more deserving of this than Laura. She is such a kind, uh, sweet person. She's so humble. Okay, big question. Who do you want to play you? <laughs> oh, gosh, I have no idea. I hope they, um, I don't know, I... I have no idea. I don't know. There's a lot of names that have come forward, and I just think it's ridiculous that they would even consider me to even have that person play me. It's crazy. I, I don't know. I have no idea. All right. I want to thank Steve France for bringing us that story. One final note, Wings lost tonight in overtime 3-2 to Chicago. That's Hardcore Sports. We'll be right back.